What's up everybody? This is Waffle Boy here, and as a new YouTube channel, I have decided to do one of my personal all-time favorite games as my first playthrough, which is Pokemon Blue version. Um, yeah, so we're going to collect a new game here, and then we get to sit through uh, Professor Oak telling us all about the wonderful, wonder, wonderful world of Pokemon. Um, so we see Nidorino there. Um, of course, this game came back way in the late 90s. Um, so, uh, this was back when uh, Pokemon was first introduced um, to the United States, along with uh, Pokemon Red. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pick my name here. Um, I'm going to pick uh, Waffles, of course. Uh, of course, you can. they also give you uh, other names that you can pick. Um, but your name's not so much as important as your rival's name, which you get to, uh, which you also get to pick. I um I think in the more recent versions you don't get to pick your rival's names, but I'm not sure. I haven't really played that many Pokemon games. Um, so I thought about maybe making this uh, PG, but I thought nah, maybe not. Um, <laughs> this is kind of my go-to name for my uh, for my rival here. So uh, yeah, because he basically is. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny that uh, Oak doesn't remember his own grandson, and he has no problem calling him that. Um, but yeah, since we're everybody's named, um, we should be good to go. So uh, we're fixing to shrink down and uh, enter the world of Pokemon. Um, yes, yeah, so this is your room. Uh, obviously, your bed. Um, <laughs> your SNES. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's really funny as you play through them. The uh, the consoles change. Um, let's go up here to the PC. And grab our potion. Um, this might help in our first battle, seeing as how uh, we kind of suck our first time around. Um, anyway, let's make our way downstairs. Here's mom's room, <laughs> slash living room, slash kitchen. Um, so, uh, yeah, apparently all boys leave um, their homes at about 9 <laughs> in the Pokemon world. Um, see what she's watching here. Uh, Four boys walking on railroad tracks. Sounds kind of ominous. Um, yeah, we better go. Uh, Pokemon books, of course. Nothing educational. Um, so, outside, here we are in Pallet Town. Uh, yeah, here's... <laughs> it's uh, our rival's house. And let's head up here to the woods so Oak can save us. Yeah, um... I don't know what would happen if we didn't have a Pokemon. Um, <laughs> we might get mutated, um, or not mutated, mutually maimed um, by the various Rattatas and Pidgeys that inhabit the dangerous grasslands around Pallet Town. Um, Alright, so here we are in Oak's laboratory. Uh, he's got books full of Pokemon books. Um, but yeah, uh, of course my rival is being a jerk like always, saying he's full of... Uh, He's fed up with waiting on me. Sorry, I had to I had to wake up there late. Um, but yeah, uh, he's just telling us here that uh, that we need to pick our starter. And I've always had an affinity for Bulbasaur. I feel that he is the most under uh, underappreciated starter, um, especially in the first generation. Seeing as how there weren't that many good uh, good grass, and I have to uh, mess with that. The, the tech speed is really killing me. Yeah, so Charmander, I feel like he's the one everybody picks. Um, Squirtle, I feel like he's second best. I like Squirtle, I've used Squirtle. Um, Blastoise is pretty cool. But, like I said, I'm going to go with Bulbasaur. Just because he was the he, I picked him the very first time I played through it. And uh, I've loved him ever since. Um, yeah, so we're going to get uh, Bulbasaur. And, let's see. Yeah, we want to give him a new name. Um kind of hard picking nicknames but I think I'm gonna go with an old standby um, it usually always <laughs> every time I pick Bulbasaur I usually give him some type of drug reference for his nickname um, <laughs> whether it be like Mary Jane or Dat Kush or something like that just because he has a huge plant on his back um, <laughs> and of course he's gonna pick Charmander so um, yeah for those of you who don't know the rival always picks the one that's strongest um, but like I was saying earlier, uh, you know, I'm going to try to have a balanced team, and I feel like I can get a, you know, I can either get Ninetales since we're on blue, or Flareon to be a fire type. The water types are probably the best, um, besides the Psychic in the first generation, and 
Um, really, the only ones, the only Pokemon that could compete with uh, with Bulbasaur in the Grass Department would be uh, maybe Victory Bell, but I'm not a big fan of Victory Bell, so we're gonna go with Bulbasaur. Um, he has Tackle and Growl to start out with. Um, Growl just reduces your attack, uh, the opponent's attack, and Tackle, of course, does little damage, and it really sucks. Um, but yeah, so basically the the um. The strategy behind this fight is just keep tackling until uh, Charmander dies, um, and um, yeah, we uh, he's gonna he usually uses Growl some to you know reduce our our attack, um, making it where where we don't hit quite as hard. Um, I have actually lost this battle before. Um, I usually have to use the potion. I'm gonna try not to here. I always like to save that potion. And it looks like, oh yeah, crit. So we might be able not to have to use our potion. Um, so, yep, okay, yeah. Alright, so we knocked out Charmander. So we get to go to level 6, um, 69. And let's see our stat growth here. As you can see, 12, 12, 11, 11. And we defeated him. Alright, unbelievable. Yeah, you picked the wrong Pokemon. And $175. So, and then he leaves. And I believe this will be a good place to call it a day. Um, so I'm going to pop it up, save, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I um, uh, hope you guys come back for episode two. And goodbye.